I was always passionate about music. It's more that um, I was in the Beatles fan club when I was six in, in Summit, New Jersey. So I was in the New Jersey chapter uh, and I got all this Beatles stuff for, from 1968 until 1970 when they broke up. I, I still have it. It's down in my basement. Wow. And I started a scrapbook in 1969 in my little seven-year-old chicken scratch, misspelling all the words. Like I was talking about how I had begged my mom to take me to Shea Stadium when I was four to see the Beatles. No and way. She refused. She said, no, no. Um, she said that there were too many girls scramming, I wrote, because <laughs> I couldn't spell screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so all those scramming girls, you know, and then I said, I would not she said I would not enjoy it, and I wrote I N J O Y. <laughs> so I still have this scrapbook. It's kind of like the first issue of the Big Takeover back when I was seven. That's cool. Um, but all that was it, you know. I just was this massive Beatles fan, and I was interested in pop music, but I didn't become completely obsessed by it until punk rock came along in 1977 or so, at least for me. And then I went completely whole hog. You know, it was a natural transition. More, more interested in music than baseball, starting at age 15, or hockey or any other sports I was playing. And what do you think appealed to you about punk rock? What didn't appeal to me about punk rock? <laughs> I, you know, here I am, I'm 50, 59, and I'm still listening to punk rock sometimes because, you know, it's just so exciting. Even like brand new records by brand new bands. I mean, it's, it checks off every single box for me. Um, my parents thought I joined like a cult, you know, they thought they lost me to this, this like Mooney kind of stuff. You know, they, they thought I was like Jim Jones and I was heading to Guyana or something. But to me, it's quite the opposite. It's, it's this very open-ended thing that anybody can be a part of that just makes your life so much better because it, it, uh, it opens up your eyes to so much is going on without making you like dour and po-faced. Um, but it's just great rock and roll music, too. Uh, I was very aware from being a Beatles fan how much of their influence was Little Richard and Chuck Berry and Carl Perkins and Gene Vincent and Elvis Presley and all that stuff. To me, punk was just the late 70s version of that. It was wild, wild music. Whereas a lot of the rock music of that era that was popular with my classmates, I thought was kind of turgid in comparison, <laughs> you know. Not all of it. I, I still like quite a lot of classic rock, but uh, most of it from the 60s and early 70s. Uh, but the lyrics as well, it just kind of returned the idea of rock music as also having a wild streak intellectually, you know, questioning things and uh, asking you to like step out of, you know, the comfort zone that you were in where you just had to worry whether you were peer approved 